Welcome to this technical takeoff session focused on Windows 365 business, how to deploy it, and also a preview into some of the new features that are either available or coming soon to the product, including a way for admins to provide feedback to Microsoft about their experience and a new way to enroll newly created cloud PCs into the Microsoft uh, Endpoint Manager. My name is Ivilo, and with me is Sonia. Hi, my name is Samia, and I'm a PM at Microsoft working alongside Evilo. I'll be previewing the Windows 365 admin feedback capabilities today. Let's get started with a quick overview of Windows 365 before we dig into how to deploy the business edition and how to take advantage of the many features that it offers. First, I'd like to get started with a quote from our chairman and CEO, Satya Nadella. With Windows 365, we're creating a new category the cloud PC. Just like applications were brought to the cloud with SaaS, we are now bringing the operating system to the cloud. Microsoft is uniquely positioned to bring together the PC and the cloud with a consistent and integrated Windows experience, and Windows 365 does just that. Windows now evolves from being a device-based OS to a hybrid personal computing platform that's flexible for people, scalable for business, and powerful for innovation. With all of this, we aim to make Windows 365 loved by users and trusted by IT, delivering the simplicity, versatility, and security needed to enable hybrid work. For end users, your employees will be able to connect instantly to their cloud PCs, streaming their personalized Windows experience, their apps, content, and settings from the Microsoft Cloud to virtually any device. And as the Cloud PC travels with your users from device to device, it's always ready and always updated for wherever and however they like to work. They can pick up right where they left off because the state of their Cloud PC remains the same even when they switch devices. It's a simple and versatile Windows experience, once again, personalized for your users. For the IT departments or small business owners, Windows 365 offers many configuration options to easily scale to meet your employees' needs with just the right processing power and storage to do their job when and how they need it. Further, Windows 365 makes purchasing cloud PCs easy, so you don't need a whole IT department to make the product work. You can purchase directly from the web, with predictable per user per month pricing and ongoing management is easy from the web portal accessible through windows365.com. Finally, and importantly, Windows 365 is secure by design. It secures and stores information in the cloud, not on the physical device, providing a secure productive experience for users that is always up to date and building on the strength of rich Microsoft security capabilities and baselines. Windows 365 has two distinct product editions, business and enterprise. We've designed these two editions to meet the needs of a variety of different business needs and business sizes. With business, which will be the focus for this presentation, We've focused on making sure that smaller organizations have everything they need in order to easily provide their users with cloud PCs. The business edition is generally best for smaller sized organizations that don't have or need the advanced device and app management capabilities delivered through the Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Windows 365 offers the most simple onboarding and administration experience for business owners and IT administrators. There are no licensing prerequisites, so you don't need an Intune license or a Windows license in order to be able to take advantage of the product right out of the gate. You can manage each user from the Windows 365 portal available at windows365.microsoft.com or you can also manage users and their devices from the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And generally this 
edition of Windows 365 is limited to businesses that have 300 or fewer users. If you're looking for more advanced capabilities or you are already using Microsoft Endpoint Manager, you wanna look at Windows 365 Enterprise that has some more advanced capabilities like region-specific deployments and custom image support. For this edition, you can take a look at all of the other technical takeoff sessions available for Windows 365 to learn more. So as touched upon just a bit earlier, users can connect to their cloud PCs from virtually any form factor and platform. This includes Windows, Mac, and iOS, Android, and they can even log in directly to our native portal at windows365.microsoft.com, all without having to download anything. We give you the option to choose between Windows 11 and Windows 10. So while we want you to experience the latest and greatest that Windows 11 offers, we also understand that some would prefer to use Windows 10 for any number of reasons, and you have the flexibility to easily choose that. We also have a wide range of configurations to meet your needs, 11 in total, so you can choose the right computing power, memory, and storage for your users' needs. And finally, you can also get a discount on your business subscription if you're using a Windows Pro device. For more information on that, visit our website at windows365.com. Now that you know a little bit more about Windows 365 business, let me show you how easy it is to create a cloud PC for your users in this three-step process. The first step is to buy your licenses from windows365.com or the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. The second step is to assign those licenses to your users, just as you would assign any licenses today for M365 or any other Microsoft products. And at that point, your cloud PC will be automatically created for the user. Within about 30 minutes to an hour, they can then log in and be productive from virtually any device. Through windows65.com, you can learn more about our configurations and find just the right configuration that's right for your users' needs. You can also visit the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, and from there, you can go to Purchase Services, and then go to the Business Edition of the product and purchase from there. Once the license is assigned, the cloud PC is created and they can sign in to their cloud PC directly from the browser. At this point, if they would also like to install the application for their specific operating system of the device that they're using, they can also do that directly from the portal as well. As your organization grows, we have given you an easy way to add new users to your organization and assign them the products that they need to be productive from day one. Once you sign into the Windows 365 portal, you can click on add a user, at which point you can select the products that you want them to have access to. In this case, we will select Windows 365 business and the configuration that we've chosen for our new employee, Tony, and we'll also input his personal details, like his first and last name, and then also the username that we want Tony to use to be able to access these services. Now, as soon as this happens, Tony is able to log into the Windows 365 portal and immediately get access to his Windows 365 cloud PC. If you would like to make any additional changes to the default settings of your organization, you can also do that directly from the portal. Once you're logged in, you can click on your organization's cloud PCs, then update organization settings. Within these settings, you have a number of choices that you can make. So by default, all users are standard users and all users receive Windows 11 for their OS on their cloud PCs. You can, of course, choose uh, to change these if a user, say, needs local administrator access for installing applications 
or if they're a developer might need to change uh, certain settings on the Windows 365 Cloud PC that allows them to accomplish their work goals. And on here, through organization settings, you can also change the default language that Cloud PCs are created with. For specific devices after they're created, we also give you the opportunity to take a number of different device actions directly through the portal. You can restart, reset, rename a cloud PC directly from there. And you can also change the account type from a standard user to local administrator and back again. Now that we've shown you how easy it is to deploy Windows 365 business and how to use some of the features that are available to you, let's take a look at a new feature that's coming to the business edition of the product. This new feature will allow Windows 365 business admins to easily enroll newly created cloud PCs into the Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Now admins can apply app and device policies to Windows 365 business cloud PCs just as if they were physical devices. The feature can be enabled by admins in the organization settings through the portal and the M365 Admin Center if the tenant already has Intune configured. If the tenant doesn't already have Intune configured, then we recommend taking a look at how to configure Intune in the Microsoft Docs and then enabling this feature. Once it is enabled by clicking the checkbox and clicking save at the bottom, any newly provisioned cloud PCs will automatically enroll into MEM. The cool thing about this is that the device model will show up as cloud PC business plus the configuration that it has rather than showing up as a virtual machine. Just a quick note on this new feature, Enrolling Windows 365 Business Cloud PCs does not grant admins access to Windows 365 enterprise-specific features like Endpoint Analytics. If admins would like to take advantage of those features, they would need to buy Windows 365 enterprise licenses and deploy that edition of the product. And you can see here, once the cloud PC is created and once it has enrolled uh, directly into the Microsoft Endpoint Manager, that it is now available alongside any of the physical PCs that have already been enrolled into Intune. And once again, here you can push compliance and app policies as if this were a physical PC. And now Somia will tell us a little bit more about the admin feedback features that are now live in the Windows 365 portal for admins. Thanks, Avila. Let's dig right into these admin features. So one of our key elements of the Windows 365 business product is the admin portal, and that provides us with seamless and accessible device management experience. And due to this being a key component, we are going to be frequented with a lot of code changes and feature improvements that we would like to get consistent feedback on. So to ensure this ideal improvement, we are going to seek out feedback from business administrators. To do so, we are going to be using feature-specific surveys to obtain feedback from our business admins. These surveys are going to be very easy and intuitive surveys that allow users to provide feedback that only require a couple of clicks. The user will not have to provide any additional steps or jump through any additional hurdles to provide this feedback as this will be completely system initiated. And this feedback will be used to drive feature improvement and improve our product overall. So we can jump right into our demo really quick. So this is our Windows 365 business admin portal and the feedback feature will lie in here. So in this portal, we have a specific set of triggers set that will show the survey. Once the user is shown the survey, they will be prompted to answer the standard NPS question, which is how likely are you to recommend this product to others. They will then be prompted to include a verbatim response to specify any qualms or any feature requests they have for the product. As you can see over here, they can put in any text that they like, and they may specify to be contacted about the feedback as well. 
Once they click send, they will be shown additional questions. And these are targeted feature related questions that they can answer about different Windows 365 admin features. And these will be general statements such as ease of use, features, understanding, visuals, et cetera. And they can include additional verbatim responses if they would like to, as you can see over here. In this, they can include different aspects such as feature requests, feature issues, um, anything they'd like. So for example, the user can include a feature request like would like dark mode. Once they go in and answer that question, they can click send and they will be brought to the last page of the survey, which is experience completing tasks as a Windows 365 admin. So these are some tasks that they're shown over here, such as dismissing recommendations or quick actions, restarting, renaming their PC, adding users, et cetera. And they can rate based on whether they have difficulty using these features or are um, having an easy time using these features. And they can also additionally include more verbatim responses about these tasks and kind of specify what they have answered previously. Once they've done so, the responses will be sent to Microsoft and we'll be able to view and triage this feedback to drive future improvements and improve our product overall. And that's it. So that's all we have for Windows 365 admin features. Thank you so much for joining this Tech Takeoff session with us. Um, we appreciate your continued support for the product and your continued feedback. And you can also provide feedback on our feedback forum, which is aka.ms slash w365feedback. Again, thank you so much for joining us on this session, and we appreciate your continued support for this product.